A young man, Kang Hyun, is seen preparing a meal and later eating at a campsite. He is soon surrounded by weird-looking friends who want to eat with him. A few days ago, Kang Hyun arrived at his grandfather's abandoned store with a friend, Yoon Siop Hyun. Yoon Siop asks him if he, the most famous chef in Korea, is really going to open a restaurant in his grandfather's store. Hyun ignores his question and steps out of the car wearing sunglasses and a nose mask. He asks Yoon Siop if he is sure there is no one around, reminding him of how they got caught by the paparazzi the last time they let their guard down. But Yoon Siop says no one will follow him that far and Hyun seems calmer. As he enters the store, Hyun thinks about himself. He graduated from CIA, one of the three best cooking schools, won the Paris International Cooking Competition, and somehow got recognized, which resulted in him getting love calls from different TV shows. He reasons that some people might think he has a bright future ahead of him as he is a young, competent chef, but he had to turn down disturbing fans, leading to his jealous co-workers complaining about him. There were many comments on social media about how Hyun is not really good at cooking and that his skills are exaggerated, which made him feel down and tired of the attention. Yoon Siop advises him to think through about opening the restaurant there saying he is sure Hyun will not earn much there. Hyun reminds him he is there to rest. They go back and forth in the way of friends, and Hyun later cooks a meal for them. As they sit to eat, Hyun has a flashback to when a customer raged at him for not cooking to his taste. His friend understands his predicament and tries to cheer him up by saying the sauce tastes okay. This brings Hyun to another issue he has. He cannot taste food. A doctor told him he lost his sense of taste due to stress, and the cause is psychological so he cannot promise anything through surgery. He told Hyun to take care of his stress first, and try getting a hobby. Yoon Siop continues to try to persuade him to drop the notion of opening a restaurant. He says he is worried about the number of customers, and he does not think there is much to be done in the area. Hyun says there are only mountains and field there, and that is perfect as he can go camping in the mountains and fields. In a taxi on his way to camping, Hyun thinks about the things he packed trying to remember if he packed all his necessities. The driver asks him if he is going to the sea, and he says he is going camping up in the mountains. The driver says he is wearing the wrong outfit, and he asks if Hyun brought a tube with him. Hyun asks if he needs a tube, and the driver says he thinks Hyun needs to think. Hyun is surprised at the man's cajole, and he tells the man to go to Yongpyong village. The man informs him that they do not sell tubes there, but Hyun says he just have a place he needs to stop by. At Yongpyong village, Hyun stops by a house, reasoning that it is his first time going there after his grandfather's death and he decides to clean the house before he leaves. As he is staring at the house, he notices that the storage door is open, and he sneaks to take a look thinking that a thief might be there. He holds his stainless camping bag reasoning that he will use it on the thief, but a cat meow, almost scaring the life out of Hyun, he feels relieved and enters the room, looking for the switch. But as he walks into the room, he feels weird reasoning that the room does not look that big from the outside. As Hyun continues to walk into the room, he feels a great wind and realizes that he is standing at a cliff edge. But instead of water, the beneath is filled with shining lights of several colors. He suddenly falls off the cliff and lands on a grassy area. As he is wondering where he is, a squirrel licks his hand. He stares frightened at the squirrel reasoning that its ears are too big. But the squirrel, with no wings, suddenly flies off using its ears. He hears a sound and turns to see a rabbit poking its head from the grass. He feels relieved until the rabbit stands and turns out to be huge, built, and in human form, the rabbit walks past him, paying him no attention, before it hops off. This makes Hyun really scared, and he runs around reasoning that he has to find the exit and get out as the place is too dangerous. At night, Hyun still has no luck finding the exit, and he is already tired. He ponders that he is doomed as there are no people or phone reception in the area, and the doctor tells him to go camping, not to get lost. He feels hungry and manages to make a fire, but most of his food materials are in the camping bag that he dropped in the storage room. He decides to settle for some meat, and he begrudgingly cooks it. After cooking, he eats his first bite reasoning that he would normally have to spit it out as soon as he put it in his mouth, but since it is tasteless, he can eat it. He angrily throws the food away and hugs himself with tears in his eyes. Suddenly he looks up and sees that there are a lot of wolves approaching him. He picks up a pocket knife reasoning that there is nothing he can do with such a knife. One of the wolves lunge at him, and he closes his eyes in fear. 
but the wolf does not attack him, and when he opens his eyes back, he sees that all the wolves are gone. He wonders where they are, and notices that a little white dog has eaten the food he threw away. He pets the dog and asks where it came from. As the dog moves closer to him, Hyun feels self-conscious and tells the dog to leave if it is done eating as he does not like dogs. As he pets the dog, he says he does not understand why people say dogs are cute. He stares at the dog wondering why it really seems cute, and he realizes that it is a little wolf. Hyun quickly checks around wondering where the mother of the wolf is. He asks if the wolves he saw earlier are its family, and he becomes scared that its mother might misunderstand and think he kidnapped the little wolf. Hyun gives up reasoning that if it is a dog or a wolf, he might get eaten or starve to death. But the sure thing is he will die anyway. The little wolf tries to drag Hyun, and he asks if the wolf wants to eat him. He then warns it that human smells fishy. The wolf calls his attention to a hole, and Hyun realizes that it is the one he fell through. He wonders if he can go back through there, but he decides to be calm as it is heading further down, so it might be a portal to hell. As he bends to take a look first, the wolf runs to him and pushes him down the hole. Hyun falls and finds himself back in his grandfather's storage room. Hyun is almost beside himself with relief that he is able to return. He remembers the wolf and says he did not get to thank him. He smiles and reasons that he will not be seeing the wolf again, but he will not forget the debt. Unknown to Hyun, the wolf also fell through the hole, and it is now sitting beside him. Hyun takes the wolf inside and bathes it. He then writes different names on a board and asks the wolf to pick one. He later sleeps with the wolf beside him. The next morning, Hyun wakes up feeling relaxed. He reasons that he had not slept that well in a long time. He later feels a dog plate with dog food and sets it before the wolf saying wolves are a type of dog, so the food should be fine. The wolf refuses to eat the food, and Hyun brings out cat food and rabbit food. But the wolf refuses to eat. Hyun feels frustrated and wonders if he should starve the wolf. He decides to take care of his food issue in the process of taking care of the wolf. Hyun prepares food for himself and sits to eat. He reasons that he cannot taste the food. But he cooked really hard, and there might be some food that he can taste. The wolf, whom Hyun has named Rice Cake, jumps on the table and starts eating Hyun's food. Hyun notices that rice cake is cleverly avoiding convenience store food. Even the steak he brought is avoided. Hyun places two plates of steak in front of rice cake. One is the one he cooked himself, and the other is the one he bought from the convenience store. He reasons that both are made through the same method, but the sauce is different, as one is the commercial sauce and the other is recipe sauce his special sauce that was applauded in an international cooking competition. Rice Cake sniffs the steak with commercial sauce first, and Hyun reasons that the sauce is also delicious. But if Rice Cake chooses his special sauce, then he has the talent to be an Epicurean. Rice Cake eats the commercial steak before going to sniff Hyun's steak, as he hurriedly eats Hyun's steak with relish. Hyun feels good and praises Rice Cake that he knew he was not a normal wolf, Hyun is painting his grandfather's store in preparation for opening the restaurant, but he is not doing a good job. He asks himself if there is something wrong with the color or the paint, and a man arrives and says that is not a surprise since he is painting outside with paint meant to be used inside. Hyun turns to look at the stranger, who is actually an old man. He asks him who he is, and the man says he is the head of the village, and the man Hyun should greet when he first moves. He says Hyun has cappy painting skills and asks if it is his first time painting. The man gets distracted as he sees rice cake, and he tries to pet him. He tells Hyun to stop painting, and he will get someone to do it. Hyun is surprised and says he can call someone, but the man insists that there are people who can do it in the village, and he complains that Hyun does not know the value of money. Still trying to pet rice cake, the man tells Hyun not to put anything on his schedule for the weekend and that he will get him someone to paint. This makes Hyun feel uncomfortable, but he does not have a choice. True to his word, the village head arrives with a man to paint for Hyun. He says the man is the son of the Jung family, and he is really good. And the painter introduces himself to Hyun as Jung Minho. As Hyun introduces himself to Minho, he is surprised that they really came. He watches as they deliberate on how to paint the wall, and wonders why they are working so hard when it is not even their house. The village head asks Hyun what kind of restaurant he plans to open. 
He replies that he plans on opening an Italian restaurant, and Minho asks him if he will sell pork cutlets. As they sit inside the store, Minho explains that his wife likes pork cutlets, but the restaurant they always go to is closed, and since she is pregnant, they can't go far. He says he tried to make it himself, but the taste was bad. Sensing Hyun's hesitation, Minho reassures him that it is okay if he so not sell it as he was just asking in case he does. Hyun reasons that pork cutlets are easy to make, but he is not sure about giving customers food that he do not know the taste of. He wonders if he should not open the restaurant. He remembers rice cake and tells Minho that he can make pork cutlets, and he will help him relive the past. Hyun studies the recipe he wants to use in preparing the pork cutlets. He remembers that Minho said the sauce was more brown than red and it tasted sweet because of the tomatoes. He reasons that using tomatoes will make it bitter, and he later concludes that they actually used ketchup. After a long process of preparing the meal, Hyun calls rice cake and serves him the pork cutlets. He notices that rice cake is wagging his tail slower than before, and he wonders if it is because the sweetness is too strong. He serves him another batch, but still feels that rice cake wagging is weak. As Hyun serves him another batch, he reasons that after losing his sense of taste, cooking has never felt enjoyable as he could not taste his own dish, but it is enjoyable now that he has a way of telling how it tastes. Minho arrives with his wife at Hyun's restaurant. As they sit at a table, he asks her if her morning sickness has gotten better. She tells him it is okay as she hears a new restaurant has opened so she is excited to eat there. Hyun serves them the pork cutlets which look amazing. Minho's wife commends the meal saying it smells so good as she digs in to have her first taste. Hyun and Minho watch her in and ask how it is. She says the countryside store was good, but Hyun's own is better. She continues to say the sauce tastes similar, but the meat is crispier and juicier and she has never had pork cutlets like that before. As Hyun watches them, Minho's wife asks him if he remembers their first date. She says they had pork cutlets that day too, and he was side-eyeing her the whole time instead of eating. Making Minho feel uncomfortable, she says his hands were shaking so much that it was making him worried, and she started eating pork cutlets more often after that. She says she did not really like it before, but she came to like eating it because she relished the memory with him. Hyun smiles and turns to rice cake, who is still asleep from eating too many pork cutlets. Hyun sits alone in his restaurant working on his menu. He reasons that serving a customer before the grand opening made him realize that he does not have to do Italian, but a menu revolving around what the customers want. He thinks that restaurants like that exist, but they are all reservation only and quite expensive. He is determined to figure it out, and he looks at rice cake who is lying on the ground looking depressed. Hyun reasons that he has to do something about him. He wonders if Rice Cake misses the forest he came from, and he decides that he should return Rice Cake to the other world. He reasons that the house will get emptier, but he tells Rice Cake that he will take him back to his home. He suddenly remembers that he will also have to go back there, and he decides not to go again. Rice Cake looks at him with soft and loving eyes, but Hyun says he will not fall for that as he does not want to go back there. Turns out despite all his refusal, Hyun later goes to the other world with rice cake. He feels uncomfortable and decides to be quick. As he walks around with rice cake, he wonders what place it is and if it is a different dimension like in the comics. He gets to a lake and he reasons that he would also get homesick if his home was a place like that. As rice cake plays in the water, Hyun brings out a pack and says he has a gift for him as he had helped him with the pork cutlets, so he will feed him some expensive meat. He brings out a grill and prepares the meat with it. Rice Cake eats the meat with a flourish, and Hyun sits watching him. After a while, Hyun feels something is missing, and he brings out a can of beer saying he cannot leave out alcohol when the view and meat is amazing. As he drinks the beer, he reasons that he cannot taste anything, but he has heard one does not drink alcohol for the taste. As he continues to drink, a man suddenly places a sword to his throat and says Hyun does not look like he is from a nearby village, and he has never seen the artifacts with him before. He asks Hyun who he is, wondering if he is a wizard or a scout, but Hyun is too scared by the sword at his throat to reply to him. Hyun keeps quiet despite the man's questions, wondering who would have thought that he would have to experience a sword being held to his throat. He says he is a chef and he is not a suspicious person at all. 
The man asks him what he is doing in the area, and he replies that he was just admiring the view. His reply angers the man who asks why he is admiring the view in a forest where demonic beasts appear. He presses the sword to Hyun's neck and says if he does not tell him what he came there to do, he will kill him. The man then notices rice cake and he is shocked. Hyun, trying to persuade the man not to kill him, says he will give him as much money as he wants. But the man apologizes saying the lace is not where ordinary people can enter so he was being overly sensitive. He then introduces himself as Randolph, a knight from the territory nearby. Hyun introduces himself to Randolph wondering why he suddenly changes his attitude. Randolph says the fact that Hyun is accompanied by a white wolf that only appears in folktales means he is not a bad person. He notices Hyun's confused look and realizes that he does not know about that. Randolph explains that the white wolves are a race that has inherited the blood of the old god. They are said to be descendants of the wolf god, and it is said that the primordial wolf god possesses eyes that can distinguish between good and evil and great wisdom. Randolph says the white wolf race is said to have inherited some of these abilities, and such a white wolf is accompanying Hyun. Hyun feels that explains all of Rice Cake's actions. Randolph asks if he is having a meal while looking at the lake. He says the food he eats in a place like that is bound to feel more special, and he asks what kind of meat Hyun is eating. Hyun replies that it is beef, and he asks if he would like to have some. Randolph tries to refuse, but he finds it hard to resist the meat. He agrees to have just a bite, but he is amazed at the taste of the meat. He reasons that there is no way he can find meat of that quality easily. He sees the can of beer with Hyun and asks him what it is. Hyun tells him it is alcohol and he asks if it comes from the area he lives in. Randolph comments that the cup looks interesting and asks if the taste will be as unique. Hyun asks if he would like to try some, and he drags it from Hyun saying there is no need to refuse it since he placed it into his hands. Hyun brings out another can and says Randolph should have the new one as he has already been drinking the other one. Randolph happily accepts the can of beer, and as he drinks it, he says he is surprised that beer can taste that clean. Hyun reasons that Randolph's attitude is completely different from when he first put a blade to his neck, and he now just looks like a foreigner who lives in the neighborhood. Randolph says that he cannot let Hyun leave empty-handed as he had treated him to a great meal. He says if Hyun ever comes to his town, he should find him. He says when he arrives, he should say he is looking for the robentus knight Captain Randolph. Hyun wonders in confusion if Randolph is like a squadron leader. Meanwhile, Randolph reasons that Hyun is not surprised after hearing of his position, and he is definitely not an ordinary person. Randolph says he wants to tell Hyun to be careful because he never knows what might appear, but since he has the white wolf with him, he will be fine. As Randolph leaves, Hyun tries to stop him reasoning that Randolph should not drink beer while on patrol. He concludes that since it is a different world, they must follow a different standard. He serves rice cake the last meal which he eats happily. Hyun reasons that it is thanks to rice cake that things have been lively for a while, and it feels sad that he has to leave him behind. As Hyun packs his stuff, he tells rice cake, who is still eating the meat, that he enjoyed their short time together, and it was thanks to him that he was able to make good pork cutlets. He says he does not know if they will meet again, but rice cake should take care of himself till then. Rice Cake ignores Hyun as he continues to enjoy the meal. Hyun feels annoyed as he reasons that it is no wonder why people say it is useless to raise children. He remembers that they have not met for long, but he still feels Rice Cake should be a little more attached to him. He turns back to look at Rice Cake and realizes that he is now hanging onto his bag. Hyun is surprised and he asks why he is suddenly doing that. Rice Cake licks his hand and Hyun says they are at his hometown that he wants to come back to but he is still trying to follow him back. He jumps on him, and Hyun asks if Rice Cake prefers to be with him. As Rice Cake looks at him with loving eyes, Hyun says he had no choice but to bring him along with him before, but since he does not listen, they will be going back together. As they return to Hyun's world, Hyun wonders if that means that he has to keep going back to the other world, and he later concludes that he can still take Rice Cake out and have some fun like they just did. As he is about to enter his restaurant, he notices a lot of people sitting outside and having fun. He wonders what is going on and why they have to gather in front of his house. 
The village head notices him and approaches him. Hyun asks what they are all doing there, and he replies that they are having a feast. Hyun says he did not hear about it, reasoning that even if he had heard about it, he would not have come anyway. A man arrives and tells the village head that the banner has arrived. Hyun turns to leave saying as an uninvited guest, he will take his leave first. But the village head says he can join them as the party is to welcome him. They spread the banner saying, Congratulations on joining the village souls Lee Kang Hyun Hyun stares looking dumbfounded.